हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू यूट्यूब चैनल पी डी ब्रोस दिस इज मी डेब्रा ऑन द टॉपिक वाइटामिन बी टूल एंड इट्स रोल इन एरिथ्रोबोसिस सो इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज साइनो कोबालामिन एंड द सोर्स ऑफ द वाइटामिन बी टूल इज द डायट्री सोर्स आर मिल्क मीट लेवर एक्सेट्रा एंड बैक्टीरियल फ्लोरा ऑफ लार्ज इंडस्टाइन सिंथसाइज द वाइटामिन बी टूल द डेली रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ एन एडल्ट इज वन टू टू माइक्रोग्राम एंड डेफिशियंसी ऑफ बी टूल लीड्स टू परनिशियस एनीमिया Now for the absorption, and the vitamin B12 is also known as extrinsic factor or anti-pernicious factor. For the absorption of B12 from the intestine, intrinsic factor, which is secreted by the parietal cell, are required. The intrinsic factor combined with B12 to form the complex, and the receptor has an cubulin, which is a high affinity apolipoprotein, and the complex attaches to the receptors, and the cubulin is responsible for the uptake of complex into the endocyte by endocytosis. After absorption. Absorption. The B12 is transported in combination with transcobalamin 2, and B12 is stored in the liver. And the extrinsic factor and intrinsic factor together called the hematinic principle. And now for the actions, the B12 increases the DNA synthesis and decreases the maturation time of RBC. It interact with folic acid in the synthesis of the DNA. In B12 deficiency, the maturation is increased and the number of cell is decreased, and the cell will be large, lead into megaloblastic anemia or pernicious anemia. The neurological symptom are more in B12 deficiency. And that's all for the topic vitamin B12.